Here is another uh, gastrointestinal organ of some type. You can see smooth muscle bands along here. You can see a submucosa. You can see something like a mucosa, although it doesn't look like too many other mucosas we've seen anywhere. Here's some more muscle. Here's the muscle going in the other direction. Here's a looser submucosa, and here's the mucosal aspect again. What is it, the organ, and what is going on in this crazy-looking mucosa? Well, let's zip in. That's why we have high power on our microscope. You can see that there is an inflammatory process going on, uh, primarily involving the mucosa and submucosa. The muscular layers, mostly nice bands of smooth muscle, do not look like they are too disrupted or infiltrated by inflammatory cells. But there is a whopping amount of uh, inflammatory cells within the submucosa, and the mucosa just looks junky, doesn't it? Well, let's get to that cool part at the end. Uh, here are some giant cells, uh, histiocytes, lymphocytes, all scattered throughout the uh, mucosa. I'm sorry, submucosa. And remember, giant cells are uh, coalesced or a syncytium of macrophages. Now we come to the mucosa. You don't see the normal development of squamous epithelium. Instead, you see necrotic junk. Well, in the middle of that necrotic junk, you see these little red filaments. This happens to be a PAS stain, which is uh, preferentially goes to fungal hyphae or pseudohyphae. You can see that these filaments branch at approximately 45 degree angles, if you could get a good view of one, like maybe over here, and like maybe over here. And even if you uh, did not have your protractor and couldn't measure the disease, you know that we have an ex uh, a fungus that's extensively involving a non-keratinized, or what should have been once, a non-keratinized squamous mucosa. So in the human race, by definition, that's candida until proven otherwise. This is candida esophagitis. Candida esophagitis occurs in immunocompromised patients. It's one of the major uh, criteria to enable the diagnosis of uh, AIDS in HIV-positive patients. And uh, it's... Uh, in this case, very, very significant in that there is no portion of the mucosa that has any epithelium anymore, and it's completely ulcerated and replaced not only in the mucosa but the submucosa by whopping inflammation and these little red pseudohyphae branching at about 45 degrees, so classical for candida, including these little round uh, fungal uh, yeast forms as well. As you know, the hyphae grow as buds out of the yeasts. And in this case, we have tons of both present. This is a classical textbook, beautiful case of candida esophagitis. Thank you very much.